Well, uh, you know, 13th practice today, so um, you know we're getting to the tail end. Uh, it was good to see the effort by the guys. Uh, a lot of back and forth between the offense and the defense. Probably a little bit more um, forth by the defense uh, offensively. I think they got after us a little bit today, but that's that's the nature of spring ball. You want uh, a back and forth affair where both guys or both sides of the ball are are doing uh, doing things. I know we got a lot of special teams work done today, so getting closer to you know putting the finishing touches on things. We'll have an on-pad practice come um, come Thursday and have that spring game uh, on Saturday. So open up to any questions. And when you looked at the film from the scrimmage on Saturday, I know that was a big evaluation day. What, at least from from your side of the ball, did anything stand out? Or is, is there separation at, at running back or wide receiver or tight end or anywhere else? What, what did you kind of gather from the film after that scrimmage? Well, you know, uh, running back, first of all, I, I think uh, the positive thing was all three guys, 10 plus carries, um, all three guys had, had some production. I think we had six um, 13 plus runs and that, that was spread out amongst those three guys. Uh, you know, another positive um, offensively, you know, we had 100 plays and didn't turn the ball over. Um, and that, that's credit to the backs. It's, uh, you know, quarterbacks protecting the ball. So, so two, two scrimmages, 170 plays, two turnovers. Um, no interception, so it's you know, quarterback's coach. I think that's a positive. So, you know, I think uh, we're continuing to see the, the positions, um, tight end, receiver, running back, like we've talked about all spring. Uh, groups of guys coming along and still, you know, still anticipating, um, you know, those guys to improve greatly between now and the time we have to play in September. Mm -hmm. I know the, the O-line position has been a little thin this spring, but overall, just how do you like the way that group has come along? Well, yeah, it's 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 uh, thin. It's still young. It's it's hopefully we get to next uh, next fall not as young as we've been. Um, you know, you look at the growth on a daily basis for a guy like Jace Webb. Um, you know, he, he's he's had some ups and downs, but that's the nature of your first spring. Um, it, it's a lot easier to take those lumps in the spring as opposed to as a, as a true freshman in the fall. Um, so he's he's coming, and it was good to get Gavin Rush back out there. Um, you know, he he's two weeks of illness and. Even though he's probably not himself, um, you know, liked liked the fact that he was out there. Um, you know, guys like uh, you know Caden Jackson, Zach Wallace are, are, are seasoned vets, and, and that's starting to show a little bit more. And you know, um, so we're coming. You know, it'll be great to eventually get Ryan back um, out there and Brinkley back. And, and you know, now we're talking about having seven, eight guys that we can hopefully put on the field. I guess from your take from the offensive side, I know you're going against each other. You're not scheming against each other, but what have been your thoughts of the defense this spring? Of some of the things they're trying to do, or within the system, just what have been your thoughts of it? I guess. Well, you know what, uh, I think it's it's maybe a transition back to the roots of the system a little bit more, uh, while um, Coach Hazelton bringing in some nuances that, that he's learned over his uh, you know five years um, away from away from us, I guess, and. You know, I think uh, getting the guys to play fast is the ultimate goal, and you, you see that uh, you know that's happening more and more as spring ball goes along. Um, you know, I know the idea of, of of keeping the big plays to a minimum, um, and they certainly did that the first scrimmage. We were able to pop a few more this last scrimmage, but um, you know, you see the the progress certainly. And the biggest, uh, the bottom line there is is playing fast. And I, I know, um, you know, getting pressure on the quarterback is something that's been Pretty significant uh, the last couple of weeks as they've, they've added more things too. What are you seeing on the back end of that defense? You know, you know, going mm -hmm. against some of those younger guys in the secondary. Well, you know what, um, the corner position I think is uh, continuing to evolve. Um, you know, a guy that didn't play much last year in my mind that's really stood out is Tyler Hall. Uh, you know, he's he's looked uh, he's looked good. He's been very consistent. Uh, you know, um, an old vet like Rob Priester that's kind of been in and out. You know, you see him. Uh, Becoming more and more consistent, um, you know, in the safety position, playing without Andrew is a sprung opportunity for guys like Elijah and Josh Boyd. And you know, I thought in particular um, Elijah did some good things, um, especially coming up and tackling the football on uh, on Saturday. I know you talked about your new role having, you know, part of that being getting out more of the state more. Did did you have anything kind of special that you specifically did with going up up to Casper in terms of, you know, just kind of. Getting out and seeing this. Not yet, no. Um, uh, pretty much going up there and calling plays. But I, you know, I know we've talked about some opportunities over the course of the summer. And you know, so once spring ball is done, um, we'll be out spring recruiting, and I'll be in my area and, and that type of thing. But once that time is done, we'll get a chance to maybe do some more things. 
And what do you hope to do in the Thursday practice? You said it's not going to be padded. And then, we, do you know we have teams or will it be offense versus defense? How will you do the spring? Have yeah. you gotten to that point? Well, yet? first of all, for Thursday, you know, non padded, but um, you know, you're not installing anything at this point. Um, you're able to come back and you know, it's it's a heavy review day, but it's a heavy work day at the same time. You know, um, good football teams can practice without pads. And, and you know, hopefully, the way we look non padded practice 14 compared to those first two days um, will, will be better and um, as far as the spring game goes uh, the, the, we anticipate being able to go into teams like we have um, you know line being that thin position but right now we have enough guys to split up into two teams and I think um, you know our philosophy coaches philosophy on that has been that give the guys a game experience um, you can give the fans a game experience I think a, a game with the scoreboard is a lot easier for fans to to take in than a scrimmage and, and you know scoring points in a weird way so we'll roll the ball out and um, get as many plays as we can in a four quarter game and and see how those guys respond you know coaches are on the sideline it's a competitive environment there's the scores being kept times being kept um, you know so that's even a different opportunity than the scrimmages we've had at this point